Hello, welcome to our uh, restoration session for the Alto, session number seven. And uh, it looks like it's going to be show and tell day because Carl has brought us his uh, newest contraption, a uh, Diablo disc exerciser. Uh, we have some some that uh, that we don't have the right boot disc. Uh, so if you can read it with the exerciser, that will tell us. And Ken has been annoying Xerox Spark and gotten some uh, new packs. So th those are boot ones, you think, or we don't know? We, we don't know. Okay, so they will be, uh, we'll, we'll read them or, and archive them before we try anything. Um, and as a bonus, uh, Ken also brought his contraption, which is a 3 megabit uh, Ethernet emulator for the Alto, which uh, used non-standard Ethernet. So this hopefully will be exciting. Oh, and, and I forgot also for, uh, uh, we have a regular 7414 to replace our hacked one, uh, for those that were worried. Okay, so we'll start with removing our previous hack. And putting a regular 7414, all right. I hope everybody feels better now. Okay, so we, we convinced ourselves, like we are more than convinced, uh, can actually prove that the disk that we have didn't have a, a boot program on it, uh, but the uh, it was used to exercise the drive and has a pseudo-random pattern, which is not pseudo-random, right? You're able to reverse uh, engineer it. So, so yeah, um, there's this Diablo exerciser program you can use to write random disk data to test out your drive, and it turns out that's what happened probably decades ago. So our disk is full of random data and we can't boot off it. Right, and uh, so the, the, the disk is a proven useless, uh, so it's a good one uh, to try the uh, exerciser on. Okay, so what do we do? We hook up that puppy and uh, well, see I, what comes out of the I disc. Have surgery on the, um, oh, on the, on the cable. cable. So yeah, we do yeah. cable surgery. All right. Carl is checking the, uh, the huge uh, Diablo disc terminators or connectors. And yeah, this is the one that came with the Alto, and this is mine. And we can see that there's differences, so I'm checking to make sure everything's okay before we hook it up. Yeah, one has more resistor than the other, right? Yes. Termination. Okay. And Cal, what do you get in your, uh, how do you make your, your emulator here? So this is an FPGA board. There's the FPGA and some related electronics. And I have it connected to this board, which is just adjusting the voltage levels. This operates at 3.3 volts, but the disc is at 5 volts. So that's adjusting the signals. All right. Cal is our master of FPGA. And it's a FPGA board is using a, a Spartan 3 chip. Three. 3E, to be precise. Well, I mean, that makes a difference. It's a newer generation. So we're, we're going to try the uh, Carl's exerciser. So we have here the uh, oscilloscope that should show us the uh, data coming off the disk is FPGA exerciser. The disc itself with the cover removed so we can see if it seeks and uh, the computer to control the whole thing, modern computer. And as soon as the disc load we should start to see information coming off the disc. So it's loading, but it's not ready yet. There you go. So 
so here you have it and you see on the top the sector pulses in the middle the bit clocks and the bottom the bit thread of the sector of the disk you want to try to do a, a seek uh, call yes this is a seek the 202 are you ready so, uh, okay hold on a second i'm trying to focus back there all right go for it oh yeah i saw it move no problem you see back to zero Now I'll do a short seek so you'll still see the heads on the disc. There you go. Okay, just load it. Do use some seats near the zero one two, so you can have okay. some some seats to the the outer. Uh, I don't know which tracks they are. There you go. This will be only ten cylinder move. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, we we'll see it. Yeah, this is a good move. Make it move five cylinders back. Yeah, we we'll see it. So it looks like uh, Carl's tool is uh, controlling the disk adequately. Now we have uh, uh, to check the data coming now out it's of move it. One cylinder. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, you can see it. So we should be reading disks pretty soon, so we can archive them before we try to root from them. And voila, here's the uh, data we uh, done from the disk using uh, Carl's tool. This is the first sector. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't seem to exactly match what the Alto is reading from the disk. Uh, we can tell what the Alto is reading uh, from the logic analyzer trace. Uh, so Carl has to do a little bit more work uh, to figure out why we don't read exactly the same thing uh, but maybe I'm, I'm easily impressed but I, I was pretty surprised it uh, worked that well for the first try so, uh, so sorry guys it was a little bit of an anticlimactic uh, session uh, but uh, we need to go through it uh, we now know that our original disk uh, is not a boot disk it contains uh, random data uh, that was generated uh, when the disk was tested uh, probably many years ago. Uh, so we have got a hold of uh, two other disks uh, and more coming, uh, but those are, are precious. They are from uh, the original from Xerox Park. Uh, so we want to archive them uh, before uh, we do anything with them, just in case uh, something wrong happens with the Alto. Uh, and uh, for that we need Carl's tool uh, to work uh, so we can dump the whole content uh, and we didn't get that on camera but we also got uh, Ken's tool uh, the Ethernet one to uh, talk to the Alto and capture a trace uh, with the Alto trying to read it uh, on the logic analyzer and Ken has to analyze it and see how, how far it went um, so no, please bear with us while we uh, do a little bit of tool development uh, uh, so we can go to the next step.